Good evening and warmest welcome to our annual Bates College Alumni Memorial Service. I'm Reverend Dr. Brittany Longstorff, Bates Multi-Faith Chaplain, and I welcome you into this space with the entire Multi-Faith Chaplaincy team as we warmly engage in a virtual circle. Please feel at home wherever you are. Though we are far apart, I invite you to recall into your mind the sacred spaces of Bates College, Bohm's Chapel, the historic quad, sunny Hathorne steps, the spaces where you had transformative and relational experiences during your college years. Feel the depth of connection that Bates has instilled in you, even across time and distance. Let it beckon you into becoming fully present, fully at home, and fully at peace in this moment. We begin with gratitude. Thank you to the teams in advancement and the alumni office, the Bates Communication Office, and the many loving hands and voices that went into crafting this service. Thank you to our readers, reflectors, and musicians who have made this offering possible in a new way through creativity and compassion. It is important for us to gather, perhaps now more than ever, for a moment of remembrance of all of those friends, classmates, and colleagues who passed away in the last year. Our world has been recently saturated with palpable grief and loss in ways we have never experienced before. The pandemics that continue to plague us affect every aspect of our lives, big and small. Grief has become such a steady part of our daily living that we have not often paused to honor it and share it with one another in ways that are helpful and healing. So tonight, we invite you to both name your collective grief and your particular sorrow as we name the beloved souls we have lost this year from our Bates community. We will honor their memories through poems, readings, and music, we will invoke their spirits by reading their names and hearing the tolling of the college bell. We will reflect as a community by ritually lighting candles among us as a sign of their continued presence and light in our lives. We will center with reflections generously offered by Jonathan Drury and Bill Hiss. And together, we will answer the call to share in a memorial moment one that connects us to the many absences that are in fact fully present for us in a time of reunion. As a call to memorial this evening, I would like to lift up the words of Mary Oliver, that gentle New England poet who so beautifully speaks of the tensions held inside grief itself. Mary Oliver wrote, to live in this world you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal. To hold it against your bones, knowing your own life depends on it. And when the time comes to let it go, let it go. As we gather in this memorial space, may we spend time reflecting on those we have loved and let go of. May we call them back into our memories and hold them close once more. And after this year of loss, may we begin to practice the spiritual task of both holding on to what we love against our bones while simultaneously letting it go, letting it go. Welcome all to the 2021 Alumni Memorial Service. <laughs> 